Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Kirsten and it's the start of another weekly vlog and I've already started two books this week. The first book I have started as per my punishment is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I did start this on Sunday but I will admit I'm only 100 pages in and I am taking this rather slow because it's a sci-fi Cinderella retelling and I can definitely see the Cinderella influences and that's quite fun but the sci-fi element to this is a bit of getting used to. I generally don't read much sci-fi at all, so it's a bit odd. Because obviously sci-fi is very futuristic and I much prefer historical fantasies and this is very, very different to many things that I've read. Although yesterday when I was reading it, so I've got it set that I've got to read about three chapters a day. Like if I'm going to read, then I have to read three chapters of this first before I can read anything else to make sure I actually get through this book. And I have to admit, at that point, it was actually getting rather interesting. We're in this society where there is a virus going around, which I don't know if it's the smartest book to be reading at the time, but there we go. There's a virus going around, there's no cure for it, and it just kills people. But if you are a cyborg, which Cinder, our main character, is, they are using them to test a cure on them. Although, albeit unwillingly, because cyborgs are seen as less than human, even though they are human, they just have machine parts, but that's a debate for another day. And so we were seeing her getting shipped to a lab, and honestly it took a darker twist than what I was expecting for something that's reading on the very young end of young adult. So I didn't stop at my three chapter mark, I kept reading that section of it because it was interesting to me, and I really wanted to understand what on earth they were doing. But then I got to the 100 page part and I was like, okay, I'm kind of done now. I am enjoying it, like it's an interesting book, like I said, it reads pretty young though, and sci-fi is just not my thing. So we'll see how I find it, but I am definitely going to finish it. It is my punishment book for the month, so I will get through this. And I'm really honestly hoping that I like it because I love these covers, and I really want an excuse to get the rest of the series because I think they are beautiful books, and so many people have said that they love this series, that they find it really fun, so I really want to enjoy this and I'm just hoping that the sci-fi element of it I'll get used to so that I can enjoy it more. But to give myself something that I am very happy to read, I also picked up Assassin Blades last night and this is by Sarah J Maas and this is technically the prequel but I would advise reading it after the third book, Air of Fire, because in Air of Fire Selena is telling her life story to someone else and is really good and these are the stories that she's telling him all about her time as being an assassin and everything that led up to the first book. I love them, I think they're really really fun short stories and although they are novellas they actually do just link together so you can read it as a full book, it's just got a few time jumps in it but I don't mind it, it's pretty well done. Obviously I love A Throne of Glass and if you've been watching my videos lately that's pretty much all I've been talking about each month because I'm doing my reread of the series albeit very slowly. So I am loving this but as I said I can only pick this one up when I have read at least a little bit of Cinder for the day. Obviously as I said like yesterday it actually really interested me so I carried on reading for a little bit but to help me get through those slower times just reading a couple of chapters of Cinder before I can then go on to Assassin's Blade and I'm hoping that that will get me through the book. Honestly this month I'm not doing any readathons, I've just decided to have a really chill month, there's a lot of stuff going on at the minute and I just, just don't want to put any pressure on myself so I'm going to be sticking to my TBR game but just mood reading out of that, seeing what takes my fancy and if I decide that I want to read something else instead that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep it very relaxed this month because I think I just need that. Good evening, it's now Wednesday and I really haven't read that much at all. I haven't read any more of Assassin's Blade since the last time I updated and I've also only read literally a couple of chapters of Cinder. Now I'm really just not in the mood for Cinder, I won't lie, it's just a bit too futuristic for me. Though there is some interesting social commentary in this, with being a cyborg you are seen as a lesser, so that is good social commentary in here, so I do appreciate that. But as for the story itself, I'm just not that invested and I think the plot twist about who Cinder is going to be is just a bit too predictable and it's a bit heavy-handed in this book and maybe I'm wrong which I do hope I'm wrong but if I'm not I'm gonna be a bit disappointed with it to be honest because it's so obvious 
that I'm just a bit like, really, even this early on in the book? Because I just, I haven't even read that much, so that would be a bit disappointing. But I am going to definitely read two chapters of this today. That's how I'm making myself read this. Because this is my punishment book for the month, I do actually want to finish this book. And to help me with that, it's just going to be a goal of at least read two chapters a day and I will slowly get through this book. And hopefully it picks up because I'm just not feeling it. Saying that, I actually don't know what I want to read today. I am not really feeling Assassin's Blade, which is unusual for me because I know I enjoy this story. Throne of Glass, as I've said many, many times, is one of my favourite series and I reread it so often. But I'm just not sure what I want to read, which is the first in a really long time that I just don't know what I want. Honestly, I don't know why. I'm normally such a control freak. I'm always like, right, I'm going to read this book. When I finish it, I'm going to move on to this book. Like, I'm, that's how organised I am. And I just don't know. I just don't know what I'm feeling like at all. So I think, honestly, I'll probably just get a couple of books, read the first couple of pages in them, and just see what I feel like picking up, because I just don't know. However, I have had a really enjoyable day. Me and my partner went up central London because it's the last time we can actually go up there for a little while because of everything that's going on now. So we enjoyed that. We went around Borough Market, had some good food. I had a few oysters, which honestly, I actually really like oysters and that may not be surprising for a lot of you, but for those of you that actually know me, I don't really eat fish. Okay, scrap that. I've never really eaten fish, but my partner convinced me to try it and actually it was rather enjoyable. I also had the best carrot cake I've ever tasted. So it's been a really nice foodie day and we literally just wandered around. Thankfully it wasn't too busy, which is quite surprising given everything that's happening this week, but it was actually quite chilled and we just had a nice little wander because as I said, we can't do it from tomorrow onwards for about a month. So... It was nice just to actually spend a bit of time together and enjoy it while we can. As for this evening, as I said, I've got no idea what I want to read, but I am going to do some final edits on my October wrap up, which will be up by the time this video comes out. So I'm going to do that and then I guess we will see what I end up reading because I genuinely have no idea. Morning. I actually finished a book last night, which I am really surprised at. It was not either of the two books that I've started this week, to be fair. I didn't even read the allocated chapters for Cinder today, so I have some catching up to do tonight, which I'm going to have to do because I need to get this book finished, but then I said that yesterday, so who knows what's actually going to happen. But instead, I did spend last night reading Harleen and this is an amazing graphic novel. So this is a bind up of volumes one to three which are the only ones that are out so far. I don't know if the author's going to do any more and I'm really sorry for not saying his name. I cannot pronounce it and I really always butcher names on here so I apologise. But this is a really really good graphic novel. First of all the artwork is stunning and I mean even just the hardcover it's, it's just so good. I absolutely love it. The artwork is something that was really powerful. I mean you would have seen a little snippet of some of my favourite ones because I just think the artwork is amazing and this is telling the story of Dr Quinzel before she became Harley Quinn and what led up to her working in Arkham Asylum, how she started off as this really hopeful psychiatrist hoping to find basically a cause as to why these supervillains exist really and everything to do with empathy and it was very interesting and then of course you see her meeting the joker and you see the descent into harley quinn and it was really well done actually i think it was really good it's not really pitched as like a love story which to be fair their relationship is not that at all it's one of obsession and control and things like that it intrigued me from start to finish clearly because i finished it in one night and I just couldn't put it down. I thought everything that I've already said, the artwork was amazing, the story behind it all was really well done and you really do see how well the Joker manipulates her and how it changes who she is and I thought it was brilliant. I thought it was a really, really interesting look into how she became Harlequin, which I haven't read anything like that before, to be fair. I haven't read any 
DC graphic novels or anything like that before but this is one that I really enjoyed. So if you have any others that are kind of like this that you would recommend then do let me know because I was fascinated the whole way through for this. And that does make it my very first book that I finished in November. Not a book that was actually on my TBR for this month but as I said already I am planning on being very relaxed about my TBR this month given everything that's going on this month. I just I'm not gonna be stressing myself out about it, I'm just gonna read whatever I feel like. And that apparently was this, which if you haven't read it, I do suggest giving it a go if you're interested in the story behind Harley Quinn because I think it did it really well. But as always, I do need to go to work. I'm pretty sure you're used to me saying that during the week now, but I will catch up with you soon. Good morning my loves and oh my god is it freezing cold and I hate it. Ugh. Here in the UK it's decided to get absolutely freezing and ugh, just bring me back summer. I love summer so freaking much and all this cold weather is horrid. I absolutely hate it. Anyway, that's my little rant for the morning done. I have finally made some progress with Cinder. I was reading this last night. I have 150 pages left to go and you know what, it's okay. I'm starting to get used to the sci-fi element in this, which is the bit that was putting me off the most about the story because I've said it before, I'm not a futuristic person. I much prefer historical settings just because I like that. I like the regency of it all. I love the clothing from then and I just, I really enjoy it. So it's taken me a little bit to get used to it. Now that I'm used to it, I actually don't mind it. And there are a few things that are happening that are a bit interesting, I can see how it's going to go, but again, this is the young end of Young Adult and it's a retelling, so I don't really mind it too much. And it's one of those really light reads that you don't need to pay too much attention to, so it's okay. I can see this coming out as a three stars, in all honesty. Like I said, I've still got 150 pages to go, so for all I know, there's going to be something that happens in it that's unexpected and is really going to push this over the edge for me. But as it stands, I think a solid three stars is not bad. It's just not anything amazing to me, it's just an in the middle book and I don't mind that. So I am hoping to finish this out tonight, I just want to get it done because it's been taking me a little while and I would really like to be able to go yes. Punishment book is done and then say whether I'm going to continue with this series or not. I know that a lot of people's favourite book is Fairest from what I've heard so I might actually just hold out till then and just see how it goes because I do love the covers and a three star is not a bad read so we'll see but like I said I'll wait until I finish the last 150 pages before I actually decide if I'm going to continue with this series and I didn't read anything else last night I still haven't made any progress with the Assassin's Blade I don't mind that because these are short stories and I'm up to the Assassin and the Desert and I don't mind taking this a little bit slower because I've already read this book, I know exactly what happens and instead last night I was doing just some research into potentially upgrading from my laptop to a computer and I was learning loads of stuff about graphics cards and RAM and all these different things and my head was just like poof because I am not a computer person like technology is just a foreign thing to me but it's something I'm thinking about doing because I want to improve the quality of my videos, improve the editing that I do, so it's something I'm potentially going to invest in. Which brings me on to my final point in this very rambly update which I'm sure you're pretty much used to by now and that's I have a poll going on on Instagram so by the time you're seeing this it will be over but that's basically asking the sort of things people want to see in my vlogs which is why I'm asking you guys now because you're the ones watching them if you enjoy this sort of layout so I've been doing this for a little while now and I really enjoy my vlogs I enjoy doing them I enjoy creating them but I also want to add some things that you guys want so I know some channels like books with Chloe Olivia Reads a Latte Frolic Free Fiction those sort of ones they'll do these kind of montages of what they've been up to during the day and then they'll just have some some ambience music over the top and I do tiny little segments but they're like five second clips and I just want to know whether you would actually want that to be expanded upon whether you would want to see more of the stuff I get up to throughout the day which to be fair isn't much it's it's go to work come home from work read that's my day but if that's something you'd like to see and you want to see some montages then I'm definitely gonna play around with it and see what you guys think but I only want to do it if you're interested in that so if you're happy with this style of vlog, then I don't want to mess with it, but if it's something you would like to see, 
then I will give it a try and we'll see if it works. So do let me know your thoughts below about what you would like to see, whether that's something you're interested in or not. I'm so grateful for each and every single one of you. So I'm just wanting to try and do things that you want. So if there's particular things you want to see, then let me know so I can start doing that for you. Anyway, I need to brave that cold weather. Guys, wish me luck. I hate the cold so much. Good morning, my loves. I have quite a reading update to give you, which I'm very surprised at. First of all, I finished reading Cinder the other day and oh my gosh, we all know that at the start of this I was just not feeling it, I was very meh about the book and struggling to get past the sci-fi elements of it but I have to say when I finished it yesterday while I was at work I just had to have the second book, I could not believe it. I wanted it so bad. I don't know how it did it but all of a sudden I cared about the characters that were in here. I realised how attached I was to them. Realised how much I hated Adri. Like she is a horrid, horrid person. And even though I knew the plot twist that was going to happen, I still cared about it. I still really wanted a different reaction that happened and I just, I need to know what happens next. I absolutely loved it. It was so good and it was so surprising because I can't say when it happened, but by the end, as I said, I just, I cared about everything that was happening, the plot, the characters. It was just so surprising to me. And yeah, I now want to get the rest of the books because I thought it was brilliant. So this came out at four stars. I was quite surprised. I was honestly expecting a three star read. I would admit, like I said, a lot of that was to do with the sci-fi and once I got used to that part in the book, I found it was actually okay. It was just getting used to an element that I've never really read about or had any thoughts about like robots and stuff. Like they just don't interest me. But Marissa Meyer does a really good job of making you care about these robots and making them feel like normal human characters in a book. Like it was really, really well done. And yeah, I have to admit, even though it is on the young end of young adult, I still found myself being captured by the story. So if you haven't read it, I would give it a try. And thank you to everybody that actually convinced me to read this and said that they enjoyed it so much because I was really hoping I would. And turns out I really do. It was a really fun read. So yeah, not expecting that at the end of this at all, but I'm pleased that I finished it and very happy with it being a surprisingly good read. Then yesterday I started Holy Sister by Mark Lawrence. However, I started this in a way I've never read books before and that's an audiobook. I was really, really surprised. Again, honestly, the end of this week has just been a surprising week because I have been struggling to keep on top of doing YouTube there's another thing that I'm trying to do with my YouTube videos which is going to be starting in January which is my journaling and just trying to get everything on top of each other as well as keeping up with work and trying to read the amount of books that I normally read a month like I've been struggling with it and my partner said why not give audiobooks a try he said it will be a really easy way for me to be able to read a book and do all the things I need to do so I'm not getting stuck and caught up behind things but I've always been really iffy about audiobooks because of the fact that I'm just not someone that likes to listen to things like I really don't even like listening to music that often it's just I'm not a audio person however I was like you know what I need to try it I started reading the audiobook of this and I'm already up to chapter 11 that went really well yesterday because I listened to it once I got home from work just while I was doing different things and it was actually really good. Now I have to say, for me personally with audiobooks, because I live in a very busy household and they're very noisy, I genuinely do tune things out. So if someone's talking to me, I really, really have to pay attention to what they're saying to be able to take anything of what they're saying in. Uh, my partner does it all the time, he'll tell me something and I'll be adamant that he never told me this and he's like, no I did. And to be honest he probably has I just tuned it out because I'm just not that way inclined unless it's written down it's not going through to me 
So I will be keeping audiobooks for either rereads because I already know the story or for books like this one which is the third in a trilogy where I already know the characters, I already know the plot. So if there's a few things that I miss it's not the end of the world. Plus you can rewind the audiobook so that's pretty easy to do. I did read and listen to the audiobook at the same time for a few chapters and I actually really enjoyed that. So yeah I was very surprised and it's definitely something I'm going to continue with because it would definitely help keep me ahead of my reader month, just make it a little bit easier because that way I can still do all the things I need to do while listening to a book. Now I should actually talk about what this book is about and this is the third book in a trilogy and it's the Book of the Ancestor Trilogy or Holy Ancestor Trilogy, I really should have looked up that name. It's a book that I genuinely like, we are following our character Nona from a small child growing up throughout this trilogy. When we first meet her she is preparing to be executed until a nun saves her and takes her back to the convent with her but this nunnery is not all it seems instead they are assassins or well warrior nuns we're also in a world where there are people with magical abilities now you could be hunska which means you are ridiculously fast and able to move faster than anybody else you can be garant which is basically like a mixture of a giant because you are a lot bigger and a lot stronger than others able to deal with a lot more physical pressure. You have some people who are empaths who can manipulate the feelings of others and there's a whole host of different things that you can be and there are the rare people called Marjol who have a bit of everything within them. Nona ends up fulfilling a prophecy or being a part of a prophecy in a world where it's basically another ice age that's happening and there are things called ship parts that's supposed to help stop this from happening but to be honest they're rare and far between and not many people even believe in them and there is this massive story that goes alongside it you have religion politics love loss betrayal it's a really good trilogy now this is the shortest book out of the three and it's got two timelines so we have three years ago which is taking place straight after the ending of the second book and then we also have present day i'm enjoying it like i said it's an easy one for me to listen to because i already know these characters even though i haven't actually read the first two books in over a year and a half. I read the first one like two years ago. It's definitely a series I want to reread next year because I do enjoy it and listening to this made me realise how much I miss these characters. I've already done a video of five books series that I want to reread next year. I think that's either going to be up before this one or up just after this video. I've no idea which round it's go which way round it's going this time but I'll put a date here. But definitely want to add this one to it because I'm really enjoying it but I need to actually finish it first. So while I was reading that book or well listening to it I was also prepping my 2021 journal and I'm so excited. So for those of you that don't know I do keep a reading journal and I am looking to start doing videos based on my reading journal from next year as well. I love this one because it's got Japanese ramen. I mean Ramen is like the best meal ever. If you're having a bad day or it's cold outside, a warm bowl of ramen is just the answer to everything. It's so good. So I saw this, had to have it, plus it's bigger than the current reading journal I'm using, which I prefer. So I've got more space to actually do things. And I haven't actually started like writing in it or anything like that. I've literally just started doing the pencil layouts just so I've got something to work from because I knew this was going to take me quite a long time to set up. So I've done my first initial 2021 spreads which I'll do an actual video of me actually putting those to pen and putting all the stickers and washi tape and everything on it but I needed to get ahead and start penciling it because otherwise it was just going to take too long. So being able to listen to a book and do this at the same time last night was really, really good and I'm so pleased that I finally got it started. And then, the reading update has not stopped. <laughs> I read a couple of chapters of Assassin's Blade and I do mean a couple. I was really tired last night by the time I had finished setting up my journal spread and finished listening to Holy Sister. But I did want to read a couple of chapters of this. Now, I've said it before, this is my reread and I am taking it slowly. And I can take it slowly because it's a book I've already read. Unfortunately, there isn't an audiobook for this available on script. Otherwise, I would actually listen to this one as well, as well as Queen of Shadows. But they don't have the audiobooks for that. 
but I'm happy to just physically read this and I will slowly make progress. I'm going to try and read some more today. In all honesty, I would love it if I could get this finished up today. I think that's unlikely, but I'm definitely going to try. So I'm gonna catch up with you a bit later today, wrapping up this vlog and letting you know what I've been able to read today on my day off. I have a few things I need to do, like some book photos for Bookstagram. I tend to bulk do those. And I'm not quite sure what my partner's got planned for today, whether we're actually doing anything or not. I've got no idea. So yeah, I will catch up with you soon to wrap up this vlog and maybe I finish another book, which would be very good going for this week. Good morning, I am going to wrap the vlog up and leave it here for this week. I've had a pretty decent reading week overall. Yesterday I did just chill out and spend the day finishing up Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Mars and it was brilliant, I loved it, it made me cry at the end. This book always makes me cry regardless of how many times I've read it, it just never fails to hit me in the feels, it's so, so good. I will say I was kind of surprised at the rating, so normally this is like a 5 star read for me, I absolutely love it, and to be fair, enjoyment value is still a 5 stars. But after putting it through Corpile, it actually came out as a high 4 stars, I just missed off that 5 star mark, and I literally think that's just because it is shorter stories that are put together, it's a prequel, it's not got the same vibe as the other books, but for me, in terms of just sheer enjoyment value, I still give this five stars because I love it. So that was really nice yesterday just to chill out and finish this one off and I did read or well listen to a couple more chapters of Holy Sister. I'm now on chapter 14 and I'm still really enjoying the audiobook. I listened to it this morning as I was getting ready and I just I don't know how I've managed this long without audiobooks, like they're so helpful. And yeah, this book is definitely getting a lot more fast paced, there are some things happening. I will say there's a couple of issues that I'm having with this book, just in terms of the reason why they're doing this. So they're having to steal something to try and basically almost save the world in a weird way. But the reasons as to why it's not working, that it's all pinned on this one person and it just, it doesn't really make any sense. It feels very petty and maybe that's just because it's been a long time since I've read the other books. But the present day stuff that's happening just hasn't got the same atmosphere that I would like. But the chapters from three years ago, I'm enjoying those and those are really built up with the tension and with... Nona and Zol trying to escape and trying to lure these people with them and th that's quite good, that's high stakes, I'm enjoying that but the present day stuff where it's in the nunnery and then Nona and her friends are trying to steal something to try and outwit the other players in the field it just, that bit isn't quite as good as what I would like Again, that could be a number of things. It could be just the audiobook and I'm not listening to everything that's going on. And it could also be the fact that I haven't read the first two books in a very long time. Either way, I'm still enjoying it. I think the narrator's really good. I like the way she does different voices and accents for each character. I think it's really well done. So yeah, I'm going to be continuing this into next week's vlog. But for this week, finishing three books is not bad and starting at a fourth. I haven't been that productive with my reading in a while, so I feel very hopeful about this month's TBR. Anyway, I want to know what book has surprised you lately because Cinder was a complete surprise and also audiobooks was a surprise for me. I didn't expect to like either of them and I ended up loving both so far. So do let me know what's been a surprising read for you. And as always, if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. All my social media links to my Instagram, Goodreads and Twitter will be linked below and I will catch you in the next one.